What's up guys, Boulet de Yann Motor. Today, we try the Ducati Desert X, Desert X. So the gimmick, like usual, I'm 180 centimeter for 87 kilo. My feet tipito, like you can see seat is uh, in high position i'm a bit tippy toe on it it's not flat fit completely beautiful design i love uh, the design of that bike riding position perfect the legs are not too high not too low and what i like is the standing position I really don't need a, a bar razor. Gonna put that this way. Can we turn? Yes. And you, you have a steer dumper. I'm surprised the, the windshield is very low. Let's see how it is. Contact. Beautiful dashboard. Desert X. Color. You have the riding mode in here. You have to press long. Then you have Touring, Urban, Sport, Exit, Rally, Enduro, Wet, but we're gonna stay in Touring because the bike is still uh, in the break-in process. So I promised the guy I will stay in Touring. Anyway, we are not going to do off-road. Let's try that motorcycle. Then we will see, we will make a, a walk around. The tank is metal. So then I can put my, uh, my tank bag. And as the the hatch for the for the gas is here. You don't have to take off your bag if you want to fill the tank. That's cool. The seat is uh, high position. That's the reason why I'm tippy toe on it. But nice attention to set your your brake grip. Nice grip. You can take off the rubber as well. Brembo rear, Pirelli S Scorpion STR Rally good tire you know how much i like this tire especially after my uh, my ride in uh, java central java on the on the bromo volcanic sand i had those tires and they were doing a great job brembo front oh and nice also they think to put the bend uh, valve for easy access to deflate and reinflate protection for the radiator Bash plate, cool, I like the design of that bike, I like the headlight as well, yeah, overall I like it, I like the style, so it's a 950cc, ooh, nice, simple daylight, uh, gear selector, and you have a quick shifter directly, you don't need to uh, ask for option, so let's go for a ride because we have, we don't have a lot of time. Heated grip, can set the levers. A lot of torque, a lot of torque. So this bike makes 110 horsepower and for the French uh, they have an A2 version that make only uh, 47 horsepower but then uh, if you come back to the full power you will only get uh, 90 or 95 I guess you will not get back 110 yeah my feet barely touch the ground I guess the lower seat will be a better option Very good torque. The weight is quite a head, it's quite a heavy bike. It's a 200 kilo dry, so with a 20 liter, 21 liter tank, it should be around the 218 kilo wet. But you don't feel the weight. She doesn't feel like a 200 plus kilo bike. 
the steel damper is a good idea actually. She feels a bit like the, the Touareg, the Aprilia Touareg 660 in terms of uh, weight, but much more powerful for sure. You have like 30 horsepower more on, uh, on the Ducati. The shifter is a delight. Cruise control set the minus cruise control bike. I love that. Very very practical for friends and honestly very easy to use. I love the the Komodo for the for setting the speed. The, 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 the cruise control really nice attention can I upshift without disconnecting it no not like BMW so if you upshift you go from fifth gear to sixth gear you have to set the, the, uh, the cruise control again 84 82 kilometer perfect cruise control bike Oh man, very well balanced and with a steel dumper, she will not be wobbling. Perfect. I like the riding position. My back is really straight. And standing up on it is perfect. I really don't need a bar razor. Very good suspension, the road is really bad and the suspension are doing a good job. Ah, good torque, good grunt. It's a sexy bike actually with the with the the very small tail and the big tank like that like a very sexy bike yep very very good bike indeed I feel the heat a little bit on my on my boots now 86 degrees it's a very good bike very very good motorcycle so like usual guys like it if you like it dislike it if you dislike it subscribe if you want to let me know in the comment if I should buy one actually I would love to <laughs> but she's like 17 uh, 17,000 euro in France on the road I'm gonna have to work hard to buy one <laughs> but let's see honestly Ducati, I'm impressed. Very, very good bike. I do yan it. So, in my point of view, it will be like an adventure bike nowadays. Around 200 kilos, so to be able to uh, have fun with it. That will be the first position in my... Uh, in my top my top three 
that will be it. The, the first one will be the Ducati Desert X 950. I'm really impressed. It's a very easy bike to ride. I'm really impressed. Really well designed, well equipped. Number two will be the Aprilia Aprilia Touareg 660 because uh, she's definitely uh, a perfect bike as well. Uh, 80 horsepower is really enough. And number three will be the T700, the Tenere 700. This will be my top three if I had to buy a, a big bike, a big adventure bike in France. Very comfortable seat as well. But the protection is not there. I mean, I get a lot of wind in my face compared to, the best one was the for the protection was the, the Aprilia Touareg was really protecting me but here I have to be here to get the protection from the windshield but I'm sure they will they will send the, they will sell the the bigger one yeah I like that so I don't have to take off my bag it's quite clever Easy bike to ride. Yup, yup, yup. 